Hi guys, Dave here with a new lesson. Today we're going to look at George Benson's eight bar solo to Feel Like Making Love, one of his big hits from the 80s. Um, yeah, usual kind of trademark licks in here, so I think you'll get something from it other than just learning the solo. Right, uh, I think I'll start with the chord sequence first of all and then get into the solo. So it's basically just played over the verse and you get these chords. You get uh, C minor seven. I'll go through these shapes. So I'm playing eight on the top string E, and then I'm barring eight on the D, G, and B strings. Get a bar of that, then you get an F11, or you can think of it as an E flat over F chord. And for that, I'm just holding down the eighth fret on the B, G, D, and A strings. And then it goes to a B flat major seven, which is actually the key of the song I should have mentioned. So for that I'm playing six on the E, seven D, seven G, and six on the B. Then you get this push chord, which is an A flat seven with a flattened fifth. Nice little awkward chord. So for that I'm playing four on the E, four on the D, five on the G, and three on the B string. That does that, and then it goes to a G7 sharp five. And for that, that's going to be three on the E, three on the D, four G, and four on the B. Okay, uh, then it goes back to the C minor 7 and the F11 again. And the B major 7. And then it finishes on another nice little awkward chord. This is an E9 with a sharp 11. So for that I'm playing 7 on the A, 7G, 7B and 6 on the E. Oh, it's a really nice chord sequence, so even if you get that much from it, it's uh, it's good. Yeah. And then he goes into the chorus after that, which lands on an E flat major seven chord. Right. So it's right at the end of the solo. So I'll give you that one as well. So we've got six on the A, eight on the D, seven on the G, and eight on the B. And that's just starting off the chorus. So that's the chord sequence. Now let's get into the actual solo itself. First bit I think is played in octaves. So for that, I'll give you the octave shape and then I'm just going to tell you where my index finger is each time I think because it's, it's just a case of transferring the shape around. So for the octaves the way we're going to do it is we're going to play three on the G, six on the E. So you get that kind of three fret spacing. And you've got a string in between, like that. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm blocking off the B string with the back of my index finger so I can, I can strum it. So to play these octaves, you've got three, three ways, main ways of playing this, and you'll, you'll use any of them. First way would be to strum it with a pick. Sometimes he'll use his thumb, and sometimes he'll pinch it between a thumb and a finger. So whatever way you prefer to do it is all good. Right, so first one, three on the G, six on the E string. Then I'm just going to move up to five on the G. Then seven. Keeping the shape the same all the way through. Then we're going to jump over to the D string at the 5th fret with the octave and then back to the 1st shape so that's the 3 on the G like so that's the 1st phrase 2nd phrase so 
So for that, three on the G, then we're gonna go five, seven, then back down, five, three, back up to five, and then gonna slide into seven. Like so. Okay, then you get this nice little run. Even though we're in B flat major, this is kind of minor pentatonic, and it's also mixed in with a little bit of B flat mixolydian as well. So an interesting little run this. So on the B string you get six, eight, and six. Then we're gonna get nine, six on the B, and then eight, seven on the G. Then the next group of four we get 6B, 8, 6 on the G, then 8 on the D. Then we're going to come back on this minor pentatonic. Again, okay, we've got a little bit of an altered thing there. Uh, 8, 6 on the G, and 8, 5 on the D. And then we're going to get 7, sliding to 7 on the G then eight, then six on the B, and then slide back into seven on the G. So slowly that run, I should mention it starts on the second 16th note as well, so there's a little rest and then you play it. So that's the first beat if you like. And then we're into the run. Like so. Then we're back to our octaves. So again, I'm just going on the third string, three, five, seven, seven again. And then this time I'm gonna jump to eight on the D. Just less of a jump. Also, it helps to set the next lot of octaves up. So for that, I'm on the D string with this shape. Uh, eight and 10, then over to the G at seven, then back to D on 10 and eight, then jump up to 10 on the G and then slide into seven on the G with the octave shape. So, then you get this long chromatic run which starts over the B flat major seven and then goes to that, that altered E9 chord at the end there. So, I'll give you the first six notes actually for this. So, 11 13 on the G, on the sorry, on the B. And this is the start of the chromatics. So, we're going to go on the E string 10 11 10 9. Then on the B, I'm just gonna go 13, 12, 11, 10. Then the same on the G, 13, 12, 11, 10. Then it kind of breaks out of it for a little bit. So this is on the D, we're gonna go 12, then slide nine to eight. Then on the A string, we're gonna slide 11 to 10. Then it's all chromatic all the way down, nine, eight, seven, six. So, interesting to know, and this happened on another solo I transcribed recently, is that even though that's what he plays on the guitar, he sings something different over that particular line. So even though he's kind of scat singing along with the solo, sometimes he goes in two directions with his, his vocal line and his guitar line. Just well worth kind of mentioning that, I think, if you're hearing something different when you listen to the record. Okay, guys, that's the end of the tutorial. Um, before I sign off, just want to mention that you can help support my channel via Patreon. So if you want to head over there, there's a link in the description box. Um, you can get access to things like tabs and any kind of backing tracks that I create for these lessons. 
Okay, guys, I hope you have fun with this one, and I'll see you for one real soon. Thank you.